Hello everyone, I am Jeet Vora. I am a master's student from Triple IIT Hyderabad and today I am going to present our work Bringing Generalization to Deep Multiview Pedestrian Detection Motivation for Multi-Camera Based Detection Over recent years, monocular based approaches has achieved state-of-the-art results and has proven its worth on numerous benchmark results. But still, these approaches face challenges where there are cluttered scenes where people obstruct each other severely. These methods also suffer from scale ambiguity. In multi-camera based methods, the images from multiple cameras observing the same area resolve these ambiguities with accurate 3D localization. The multiple calibrated cameras observe the same area from different viewpoints with an overlapping field of view, takes full advantage of appearance and geometrical uniformity throughout the view and provide 3D locations for the detected person on the top map or occupancy map. Overview of multi-view pedestrian detection. Multi-camera based detection methods are divided into two categories. First is anchor-based methods. Pre-deep learning methods use background subtracted images and represented human as a synthetic siloid to determine whether a person is present at specified location or not. Occupancy probability was estimated using mean field inference and conditional random fields. Background subtracted methods got replaced by deep learning based detectors for extracting bounding boxes and its feature representation. Limitation of these methods. In case of severe occlusion, the size of the background subtracted blob increases. Second, we get inaccurate feature representation from the detector. And third, we get projection errors on the top map from each of the views. Second method, which is anchor-free detection methods, overcomes the limitation of anchor-based methods. In this, perspective transformation has been applied on the feature maps for each camera view. These methods are end-to-end -end trainable, deep learning-based methods, where first, feature maps from all the views are combined for multi-view aggregation and then the spatial aggregation to estimate final occupancy map. MVDET is the first baseline of this architecture which uses convolution for multi-view aggregation. MVDETA on the other hand uses deformable transformer for multi-view aggregation and suggests view coherent data augmentation for training. SHORT predicts the occupancy map through soft selection module from the stack of projected views with the different height levels from ground plane. Practical challenges which occur in above methods. Model challenges. Retraining of the model is required when a model trained on four camera is deployed in a scene and two of the camera fail. Permutation invariance. Model should be invariant to the order or sequence in which cameras are fed as input. Camera configuration changes. Given in a scene, we change the camera position and orientation such that field of view is still overlapping and the cameras are covering the same scene. As shown in the figure, the model is trained on two camera covering the scene. We change the camera position and orientation while still maintaining the coverage of the same scene the model should be adaptable to such changes. And the last one is scene generalization. For example, the model trained on traffic signal setup can be used in a setup inside university, or we train the model on synthetic data and deploy in a real world scenario. The previous models are evaluated and benchmarked on two data sets which are publicly available. One is WildTrack, which is a real data set, and the other one is MultiViewX, which is synthetic data set. This data set has only one scene with same camera configuration and daytime setting. It has total 400 frames of which 90% is used for training and remaining 10% for testing. There is a significant overlap between train and test split and there are many static pedestrians which results in model overfitting. Apart from this, there are practical challenges of collecting the real data which includes biasness, consent and privacy, expensive annotation and labeling cost and because of unnatural circumstances such as COVID restriction, collection of real data becomes impossible. Multivex data also has frames where there are collision of two human models. Given all the practical model challenges in the previous work, dataset limitation and unreliable evaluation strategy in this work, we have curated a generalized large-scale and synthetic multi-view pedestrian detection dataset using GTFI and Unity Game Engine. We provide a generalized model which in design is permutation invariant, a drop view regularization training strategy for the model and the loss function. We also provide evaluation strategies to benchmark the model for the generalization capability on the existing data set such as WildTrack and MultiView X. The experiments are with varying number of cameras, changing camera configuration, and scene generalization. GMVD dataset has seven distinct scenes, one indoor and six outdoor. Each scene has multiple random sequences which include daytime variation and weather variation. There are a total of 1,25,000 frames of full HD resolution. The dataset also contains track labels for multi-view tracking. It has total 2,800 person identities combined from GTA and Unity. 
Every scene has different number of cameras ranging from 3 to 8. There are total of 53 sequences and the average coverage, that is the average number of cameras observing each location on the top view map is ranging from 2.76 to 6.4. This table shows the comparison of our data set with existing ones based on top view grid area in meters, the top view occupancy map dimension, and the crowd density which is ranging from 20 to 50 persons per frame. With synchronized camera calibration, the ground truth annotations are provided in terms of 2D bounding boxes in the respective camera view and the corresponding 3D location in top view occupancy map. Generalized model architecture. The camera view are first fed to the ResNet backbone to obtain feature maps. These extracted feature maps are then projected to top view map using perspective transformation. Average pooling is used on the projected feature map to obtain the final bird's eye view representation thus removing any dependency over the number of camera views, thereby allowing the model to take arbitrary camera view as input. Average pooling also ensures permutation invariant property and brings generalization capability to the model, which is free from any learnable parameters. Finally, occupancy map prediction module with pre-dilated convolutions predicts the final pedestrian occupancy map. Drop view regularization technique is used while training the model in which we randomly select one camera view to be discarded during training iteration. Finally, the loss function, which is a combination of two losses, Pearson cross-correlation and KL divergence is used for training the model which compares the predicted probabilistic occupancy map and the ground truth map. Standard evaluation metric used for benchmarking multi-view detection methods are MODA, multi-object detection accuracy, MODP, multi-object detection precision, precision and recall. The table shows the score for traditional evaluation setting on Wildtrack and MultiVX dataset where 90% of frames are used for training and remaining 10% for testing. They also have significant overlap in train and test split. This shows that previous models are overfitting and this evaluation setting is misleading. To truly test the generalization capability of the model, the model should be evaluated on three generalization settings, varying number of cameras. Here the model is trained on Wildtrack dataset having 7 cameras and tested on the camera setup which are split into 2 sets. The performance of previous work degrades drastically in this setting. Changing camera configuration. The two camera splits of Wildtrack dataset are such that both the sets observe the same scene just their camera position and orientation has been changed. When trained and tested on same set, the metric shows previous models are overfitting, whereas our model is fairly robust when trained on one set and tested on completely other set highlighted using green and yellow box. The third setting is scene generalization. We use synthetic dataset MultiViewX with six cameras to train the model and report the performance metric on real dataset Wildtrack with seven cameras to simulate synthetic to real adaptation. To have a fair comparison of a model with previous work, we drop one camera from Wildtrack, which has significant higher overlap with all the remaining cameras. However, even without additional view, a model achieves model score of 66.1. We provide a benchmarking result on a curated GMVD dataset. None of the existing methods can be trained on GMVD dataset because by design, they can be only trained on fixed set of cameras. MVDAT model was easily adaptable to be trained on GMVD dataset by duplicating the frames. First column shows performance metric when tested on GMVD test set. Second column shows the performance metric of synthetic to real adaptation when tested on real dataset while track. This highlights the difficulty of GMVD test set, which has a distinct train and test split as compared to Wildtrack and MultiViewX. The qualitative results shows the predicted occupancy map for the models. First result is the prediction of a model when varying the number of cameras. Second and third result are the prediction of a model as compared to other models for changing camera configuration settings and scene generalization setting. Thank you. And please visit the following link for more details.